make some squash, okay? I know you're probably thinking, you boring piece of crap. I don't really wanna eat squash. I got something against squash. But let me tell you this, sometimes God gives you squash. So Alex's family, they have a really amazing garden. Her grandfather has a great garden. And she came back and there's this, this gigantic, I mean, look at this thing. This is, I don't even, I mean, you could bludgeon someone with this. And I think this is a, uh, a summer squash. I don't really know. So why don't we love squash? It's hard to get used to it raw because it's kind of fibrous and the flavor doesn't always come through. And then when you cook it, it gets really mushy and kind of bland if you're not careful. But what I'm gonna teach you to do is be less afraid of squashes. If you roast it until it gets real nice and kind of brown, that'll give you some sweetness to the squash naturally while letting it be its squashy self. Remove the tips. They actually feel very similar and that's great because it means that they have a similar inside texture and they'll probably cook about the same way. I have a nice little anatomical trick for you. One inch is approximately from the tip of my finger to the first knuckle. Alex, like how much is it on you? Let's see. It's about the same. So what I'd recommend to you is give it a shot, measure the tip of your finger, nothing else, right? And this is what you can use as a guide when you're cooking. So you want the rounds to be about half an inch thick. So, you know, you wanna just cut halfway through your finger. Don't cut your finger. If you cut off one of your fingers, do you have, do you have to then remeasure with one of your other fingers? Yeah, that is actually the main reason not to do it. It's just super inconvenient you could give yourself a little mark and be like, ah, that's about half an inch. Uh, and now I can cut it down. And then you have a guide that you can use when you're cutting the rest. Um, Cause you, you visually stuck that out and you're good. And let's do the same with the other guy. Now we can test how terrible I am at measuring half an inch. Not bad. Let's try one for the other guy. Hey, I think I'm okay. This guy was a total failure. I think for the big ones, even half rounds are gonna be uh, too big, so I'm gonna just sort of quarter them like so. If your zucchini is a lot smaller, just cut them into rounds. And if you wanna get more advanced here, you can, uh, you can stack them, and then you can do three at once. Woo, rotate them together, boom. Oh, look at the efficiency. Guys, I forgot to tell you, I'm so sorry. I've been preheating the oven to uh, 400 degrees. So now I got a bowl full of squash. That's pretty cool. Get one hearty sprig of rosemary. Fresh rosemary is pretty strong, so you don't need to go ham on it. Strip it. We're just gonna straight up uh, make slices of lemons and drop them right in with uh, the squash. I'm gonna put maybe half of this lemon in there. Cut as thin as you can. Um, you know, don't freak out if you're not as amazing as this as I am. Oh no, I forgot about the seeds. See how amazing? Get the seeds out. Just roll with the punches when you cook. Things are not always gonna be perfect. Just keep cooking. You know, if you stop, then what are you gonna eat? By the way, you said you're putting half that in, but you ended up putting it in the whole now. Yeah, you know what I was just saying about rolling with the punches? And then I'm gonna put um, some onion in here. Onion will add a little bit of sweetness to this and it'll roast up. I like to put red pepper in things because I like a little bit of zestiness, so we're gonna throw that in there. A hearty pinch of salt. I think for kosher salt, we would want um, I say one heavy pinch, which is probably two teaspoons. Fresh black pepper, just to warm it up a little more. Enough olive oil to coat everything that's in the bowl. Yeah, I would say two to three tablespoons was what's good enough there. Get it all mixed in there. We're gonna wanna spread this out on a large baking sheet. And the reason is that we want to give everything as much space as we can so the moisture can escape from it. And I'm gonna line it with foil because it'll make it easier to clean later. Curses, foiled again. Ha! Ah. Spread it all around. Oh, you know, shaking works better. Let's, let's shake and bake, right? So we've had the oven preheating to 400. Now it's easy, you just open the oven and you put it in the oven. You grab the handle, you pull the handle down, uh, you stick the tray in the oven, and then you close the oven, and then uh, you wait for like 45 minutes. Got my mixed mitts. Try to say that 10 times fast. Oh yeah. So we got a nice little bit of char on the onions and the lemons, which don't worry about it. That's good um, because onions that are raw and crunchy are gross. And anyone that tells you anything otherwise is also gross. This here is called a microplane. I'm using it because I have one. If you don't have one, just use the finest grater that you have. You get some Parmesan cheese. 
get the real thing. The stuff that comes in a container is basically just sawdust. Yeah, that's right, like cellulose is one of the ingredients. It's a little bit extra salty and it'll make a little rich. All right, so now I'm gonna toss the Parmesan in here a little bit. And the next thing we're gonna do is these walnuts. Um, I'm just gonna toss it out on the pan and I'm gonna stick them in the oven for just a couple minutes until I can smell them and I'm gonna take them out and break them out over the squash. So let's do this. We got a plate. We've got our delicious squash. Then you want a little bit of fresh olive oil on top of it, just to give that little bit of richness and moisture. Some of your walnuts and just crackle them on top. Beautiful. You can dust it with some more Parmesan. Let's take a bite. I don't have a fork. Ooh. <laughs> That's really good. I mean, it's fantastic. It's got a punch to it. Um, and it's also, it's just a very warming, comforting dish. Yeah. Make some summer squash. Dude. It's, it's so good. Oh, it's really good, Alex. You gotta get a big mouthful of all the parts together. When you said that thing about like, oh, you want it to be mommy. <laughs> if it were a holiday, it'd be girth day. Um, Happy girth day to me. Uh, <laughs> that would be my fake, uh, that would be my fake name if I ever had to, you know, anonymously check into a hotel. It'd be Herb Stripper. They'd be like profession, and then I'd narrow my eyes at them. Exotic dancer, clearly. Don't judge me.